Hi, Michelle Martella from Minimum Designs, and today I'm showing you how you can set up a trigger in a ConvertKit email. Now, the reason you would do this is so you can tag and segment your list easily in offers that they'd be interested in. So I recently had a newsletter reader ask me to put them back on a list. They had just clicked something to see what would happen. So I figured I would show you how to do this yourself. So often when we're launching programs or products or offers, it's not going to be a good fit for everybody in our audience. We don't want to burn our lists, which means sending a bunch of emails to folks who aren't interested in our offers. So one thing I like to do is to tag and segment my list to those who would be interested or not interested in the offer. In this case, I'm going to show what we would do if we want to put someone on a wait list to indicate that they're interested in our next offer. Now I'm inside ConvertKit right now and I've set up a quick email. I've got a template. So a lot of my stuff is already ready to go. So in this email, I'm going to put a mention at the top of the email that I'm going to be mentioning my mentoring program in the next few emails. And I'm going to tell folks if they want to be the first on the list, they can click here to indicate their interest. Now we've got the copy right here, but we need to have it linked someplace. And this is something that's really important. I like to set up a, an, a your in and a your out page on my website. So I have some place to link them to. So I have these generic pages on my site. Uh, so whatever offer I have, I can indicate, Hey, you're in, thanks so much. And you're, you're on the wait list for the next thing. And you know, as I always like to do, I have a little bit of social proof on here as well as a special offer. I'll do the same thing for pages where I want to indicate that they won't hear about things anymore. But in this case, we want to make it if they're interested. So I'm just going to copy the URL up here. I'm going to go inside convert kit here and I'm going to make this a link. So it says click here and you'll be the first to know. I'm going to highlight it. I'll click the link. I'll add in the link right here. And next you'll see here, I want to tag the subscribers who click this link. I'll click tag and I'll select minimum mentorship, which is what I want to tag folks. And I'll click apply. Now, when folks click this, they'll be sent to my your in page and they'll be tagged. So now I can segment my emails so I can send just to folks who indicate interest. Now, if you want to do this for folks, who aren't interested in things, you do the same exact thing. You would let them know, Hey, if you don't want to hear about this anymore, go ahead and click here and I'll take you off this specific list. So when you'll highlight this, you'll add the tag to no info about whatever product that is. So you'll just want to set that up. And then when you're sending your additional emails later on, you'll just want to make sure that you are sending just to the audience who's indicated that they want to hear about your programs. Now, once you've got your email ready to go, You'll go ahead and click continue to select the audience you want to send it to. You'll want to choose the tag that you've selected. So in this case, we want to send to folks who have indicated that they're interested in our offer. So I'm going to add the filter for everybody who is subscribed to the tag that I've selected. And I'll add the filter. Now I'm sending to just those folks who've indicated they're interested. For more tutorials and how-tos, hit subscribe and make sure you're on my newsletter list at minimadesigns.com.